What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How are you guys doing today? Well, the product I'm going to be showing you is something that was sent to me uh, free for review from our friend at STM. Today we got the STM Trust laptop bag. And uh, for those of you that have seen my other videos, I'm a really big fan of STM. They make really good quality products, especially their bags. Uh, I recently reviewed um, their STM Velo, Velo 2 actually bag, and that was my main go-to bag. That's the bag I took with me every day to work, and so uh, STM reached out to me, and they told me about this new trust bag that they had just released, and they asked me if I wanted to check it out, and of course I said yes, so today I have the medium version. This actually comes in the smaller version as well. The only difference to those is obviously the size is slightly different because it can fit different size laptops, so this can fit up to about a 15-inch laptop. The, uh, the the small could fit a 13 inch laptop so I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the bag itself show you all the compartments and then tell you how my experience has been with it and so I'm just gonna go ahead and start by saying that I've been using this bag literally for a straight month um, I recently took a trip to uh, Puerto Rico for for vacation two weeks in Puerto Rico this bag came with me everywhere it came with me to the airport came with me on the trip the whole time this is basically my camera bag my camera and all of the extra stuff for the girls and other things that we had this is the bag that came with me everywhere. So I have tested this through and through on vacation. And next to that, I've been taking it with me every day to work. This has been my main bag I keep with my, my laptop and all my different things inside here. My camera, actually, I always carry my camera with me. Um, and this has been with me this whole time. So for a straight month, I've been using this bag. So trust me when I say I've been putting this bag through its paces, okay? First off, like I mentioned already before, this is the medium version bag. So this has a larger compartment in the back, which is huge. And the perfect size for a laptop. I don't have a 15 inch laptop, I have a small 13 inch MacBook Air. But the good thing about having such a large compartment is even if you have a 13 inch laptop, like a MacBook Pro with like a big case on it, it's not gonna have a problem fitting in here. That's one of the things I did notice about the Velo, the smaller Velo, uh, which is made for 13 inch laptops. If you have like a thick case on it, like this one, like a, like a soft plastic case, um, it's a little bit tighter of a fit. So if you get a larger bag like this, you won't have any problem. And, you can, and I can actually fit a lot more stuff in there. It's a really big compartment. It has a nice um, soft padding on the inside. It's very thickly padded on the on the edges too. So if you bump into stuff or anything, you're not going to be damaged in your laptop at all. Get to the back. We have a nice little compartment right here. We have a little thing for here for. I guess you can stick your phone right there if you want to. That's the only organizational pocket in this inside this one right here. Pretty big opening, and uh, as you can see, we have the flap here. So this is great for the airport. So when you have a stroll, when you stroll in your bag little handle you can slide this on top of that and you don't have to have, keep it over your shoulder while you're walking through the airport you can just keep it right there on top of the handle strap that goes through there on your rolling bag okay let's get to the strap over here really nice padded strap really good has some good uh, some foam in there so, so it's really thick I like the nice thick strap itself and it's actually easily adjustable so you can switch from going to like over shoulder to on the shoulder really easily all you gotta do is flick that switch up right there this little thing and it locks it and unlocks I keep it loose most of the time because I put it over my shoulder but it's only adjustable on one side, but both of these can completely go all the way around. So they don't like, you don't have to like straighten this out or anything. It just, it's uh, they both pivot from that one spot right there, which is kind of nice. And if you want to, you can actually easily remove them because they have these easily removable clips on the corners here. So if you don't want to keep the strap in there, you can pop them off, no problem. You can take it off and just hold it by the handle. But I did notice when I carry it by the handle, it's kind of awkward and it's a little bit off balance even when this thing has closed up the zipper. Just because of the way it's that's the way it's carried out. It just feels a little more awkward. So I like using the strap. Let's get to the front. The front we have a nice little soft compartment right here with has really nice lining. So you can see on the inside, we have one pocket here, one pocket here, and one big pocket right there in the middle. And like I said, it's completely lined. So you can throw your glasses in there, your cell phone in there, anything you don't want to get scratched up, your passport, your wallet. Whatever it is that you want to get easy access to, you can pop it right into that little thing right there. I did notice if you stick papers and in th in those types of things inside this this really soft lining, it tends to get stuck and like caught in there and stuff because the corners are just sharp. But uh, you know that's just something I noticed. Anything like a wallet or stuff or definitely a cell phone, throw it in there. You don't have to worry about it getting scratched up because it's nice and soft lined in there. Really nice feature, bottle holders right here. And the cool thing is if you don't need them, you can tighten up the strap and they kind of they kind of go away a little bit. But if you open it up. You can fit a really big bottle so you can fit one bottle of water over here you can fit another bottle of water water bottle of water <laughs> bottle of water on this side so two of them you got two compartments for that on both sides okay that's pretty much the outside exterior part of the bag we have a nice reflective little strip right here that you can clip like a light to if you want to also and then we get to the clips we have some nice metal clips right there those are real nice so flip this up, and as you can see, if you notice the way this kind of like flip, flaps over because it's real thick on the sides, so it's almost like it's not just a single flap, but it actually covers the corners really well. So pop those back, 
and then we have the main opening here so here we have three big cavities okay we got the big one right here for most of your big stuff we have a medium cavity right here and a really small one up in front and really nice thick zippers as you can see right there let's pop this open no organization on the inside of this one right here just one big opening good for keeping your flash drives or whatever it is your SD cards and things like that cords stick it right there we get to this opening over here and that opens pretty much all the way to the side you can get that nice and big lots of organization in here we got one pocket three pen pockets another pocket right here a key clip which comes in handy we have a nice mesh bag which you guys can see I have all my cords and cables and things like that and that's right in here so that's really nice this is where I keep all my sound stuff so my microphones and things like that they usually stick them right into here this is an awesome camera bag guys if you guys are looking for a good camera bag I would recommend this one I've been using this for like I said for a month as my holding my camera and stuff and it fits everything so now we get to big opening we have another soft lined pocket right here perfect for a tablet I got my MacBook Air right there inside of a, a case so that goes right there we have two more pockets right here and we have another pocket right here and I believe does this one have a pocket on the corners? No, it doesn't. That's the Velo. Then the Velo, there's like a little, little secret pocket over here, but this one doesn't have that. And we get to the inside. We have one big open cavity right there, which is very, very big. It gets very wide. It's about three inches wide or so. So I've been, you can carry lots of things like headphones. On the airplane, I took my wireless headphones in here. Magazines, any, anything that's anything that just loose stuff that you would just want to throw in there, this is what you would put it. The one big opening. And there's actually another little dividing pocket right here that you can stick some more stuff like cables and things right into here. And all, as you can see, the interior has this nice soft lining on it, but it is like that uh, neoprene type of material. And this is water resistant. So if you're outside and you're getting wet or splashed on slightly or if it's drizzling outside, your stuff's going to be fine on the inside there. So overall, a really awesome quality bag. It retails for about $130. There's a couple of different places where you can purchase it from. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in buying this. But if you're looking for a good quality bag that you're going to keep for a really long time and that's going to be very versatile, Definitely check out the trust bag from STM. Like I said, STM does a really good job. The craftsmanship, the quality on their on their products is really well. It's all designed in in, uh, in Australia. We've met the guys from STM many times at uh, CES. They're really nice guys, and I really appreciate them sending this out to us free for review. And I really guys, ho I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions about this product, post them down below. I read each and every comment on all of my videos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up as well. And if you want to stay up to date with all of my content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, guys. And as always, make sure you stop by geeksterlabs.com for the latest in tech news and video reviews. And I will see you in the next video review.